Nehemiah is the fine piece of China. Paris is strength, Nehemiah is speed. A man whose credentials are impressive even to his peers. It's a big transition for a, a track guy to come out onto a football field where now he's not running straight ahead and he's not running against somebody, he's running with somebody coming the other way, trying to stop him. And it's a tough thing for him to get used to making the moves and cuts and trying to read defenses. That's a real big part of this offense. And it's a big thing that he has to sit down and say, well, this is what I've got to learn because we have so many adjustments in our patterns and it's all due to the change in the defense. And if he wants to play, and he's definitely got the athletic ability, he's gonna have to, to sit down and learn the defenses and what to do you know, in each situation. Nehemiah is a thoroughbred, a player that will be brought along slowly, carefully. All the while, the thought going right through his mind, can I make it in this league? When you go into a game, you don't know what to expect. Um, I didn't know if I even was gonna play. I didn't know if they were gonna throw a ball to me. Um, I didn't know if I was gonna get hit or creamed. So I didn't know who I was playing against outside of the Raiders. And that was my attitude. I'm out here, just catch the ball. Don't even worry about anything else. Taking all they give me, giving all I got. Wondering all the while, will I make it or not? Playing my dues, I got the rookie blues, yeah. Coming in first in the Super Bowl means picking last in the NFL draft. The 334th player pick, Tim Washington from Fresno State. In the San Francisco 49er press guide, Washington's biography takes up exactly 10 lines. Paris and Nehemiah drove Cadillacs to camp. Washington took the bus. But football teams are made not by what you drive, but how you look in the field. And Tim Washington really has impressed. He still hasn't made the squad, but we, he looks good to us. He looks, he looks much better than uh, where he was taken, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's where we are with him now. If there is anything that separates these three men, it is the simple fact that draft pick number 334 has no room for error. Paris, Nehemiah, and Washington. They have worked and sweated together in the hot Rockland sun. All each man wants to do is just earn a job. He is there, at least in spirit, at every workout. He sees every dropped pass, every missed block. He is the Turk. Every team in the National Football League has one. He is the one to tell you that your services are no longer required on this football team. His eyes may look sad, his voice sympathetic, but his words cut through your brain like a knife. You are no longer wanted. How does it feel to be cut? Watch and listen. Uh, yeah, Bill, come on in. Uh, have a seat. Uh, Bill, uh, the 49ers have just uh, made a decision, and um, they've made steps to, uh, taken steps to release you. First of all, I'd like for you to uh, see John McVeigh, and I'm going to have someone take you in to see him, and he's going to tell you some things that uh, you need to know about why the 49ers made a decision to release you. And once you get through with John McVeigh, you'll come back to my desk, and at that point, um, I'll get some pertinent information, some training camp information, where you live, your address, uh, where your airport is. Uh, obviously, we'll get this form over to George Heddleston so that uh, a Twix can be made of you as being released from the squad. Your playbook will be collected by a person that I'm going to assign to be with you at the dormitory once you pack. We'll ask you for your key and we'll make sure that uh, we have a person available to take you to the airport uh, on the flight uh, that will probably leave approximately uh, three hours after you leave uh, John McVeigh's desk. We'd like to wish you as uh, much uh, good luck in the future, and uh, uh, we just hope that everything I know will turn out correctly for you. I fear the Turks out to get me, and everybody knows that's bad news. Yeah. 